Now to answer this question, let's look at the graph for a negative externality. We've got demand and supply. Demand represents the marginal social benefit to society. This supply curve represents the marginal private cost, ignoring the external cost to society, the negative externality. In the free market, the price would be right here and the quantity would be right here. The super surplus is the difference between what people are willing to pay and what they actually did pay. And so this triangle right there is consumer surplus if they're going to produce that quantity. What about deadweight loss? To show deadweight loss, I have to draw in a second supply curve. This right here is the supply curve which represents the marginal social cost to society. Remember, the marginal private cost is the cost that firms factor in when they decide to produce stuff. They ignore the external cost of pollution and other things like that. So this second curve represents where the supply should be if you factor in these external costs. Society wants the output where the marginal social benefit equals the marginal social cost. And so right here is the quantity socially optimal. When the free market produces this quantity, they're producing units where the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal social benefit to society. That's why this is a market failure. When you factor in these external costs, the free market should never produce any of these units because the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal social benefit. The end result is deadweight loss. That's the answer to the question. Bonus round! I'm going to show you a little trick for finding deadweight loss that I learned straight from the chief reader of the AP economics exam. If you want to find deadweight loss, circle the price and quantity that society actually wants produced. This triangle of deadweight loss will always point like an arrow to this point. See, it's kind of like an arrow. You see that? Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This little trick works anytime you have inefficiency in the market. It's the same for a monopoly. You can show it on a price ceiling or a price floor. You can show it on a positive externality. Deadweight loss.